Hey guys, and welcome back to No Coffee Needed. I'm Chad, right here in the heart of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we're so glad that you're tuning in today. But what I want to talk to you about today is not really cooking, but it's about the maintenance of your pit boss. Now guys, I don't know if you saw the last video, but we did a hog hunt down in Alabama with Iron Man Outdoors. We let this pit boss run 24 hours a day for about four days, three and a half days, 24 hours a day. We did uh, pulled pork, we did burgers, we did uh, desserts, we did a whole hog, everything on this pit boss, and it was nonstop. And guys, I live right here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where the salt water is just horrendous. I mean, this the atmosphere and the saltiness of the air is just very corrosive. So guys, this pit boss is about four years old, and you can see it's held up extremely well. We've had some grease fires in here. We've had all sorts of stuff, and right now, if you looked at it, you'd like, man, that thing looks rough. But I'm gonna tell you something. I called Pit Boss and talked to them, and their customer service is out of this world. They sent us exactly what colors of paint we needed to get this thing touched up. They gave us some hit tips and hints of what's going on. So guys, I just want to go over what we're going to do, get this thing looking brand new so it'll continue to give us years and years of service. What we got first is we've got an 11 millimeter uh, wrench and we did that so we could take the front shelf off. It was real simple. We've taken everything out of here. You're going to need some scrape blades. I got a five in one. I've also got a plastic scrape blade. Also, we've got a shop vac right there and then we've got some deep greaser we got a little bit of sandpaper we're just gonna sand down try to get all that surface rust off of it we're going to just scrape everything guys let's tag along let's get this thing fixed so you'll know how to take care of your pit balls so you'll get years and years of service out of it all right let's get started Right, guys you can see we've had a little a couple of grease fires in here just the way it goes when you're cooking as much as we do it's gonna happen I mean we try our best to keep everything clean but it happens so anyway we normally keep these wrapped with foil you can see I've already taken the foil off already got the shelf off we've started scraping a little bit down in here to get all that done but anyway that's what we've got watch we're gonna get this taken care of she's gonna look brand new when we're done all right guys, what we did do, we did put down a tarp uh, down here so we didn't get our brick and our patio extremely dirty while we did this. First thing we wanna do is I've already started, but we're just taking a scrape blade. This is a five in one, real simple. Probably most of you have that around, laying around your house. Just gonna get this straight up. All right guys, we got our nice and scraped, really good inside and out. We got our plate plates and everything scraped the best we could. Now we're just gonna get our, vacuum, get our vacuum and get all this vacuumed out real quick.
Welcome back, No Coffee Needed Nation. We are cleaning the pit boss. Let me show you where we are. We have been on this about two and a half hours, scraping, cleaning, vacuuming, sanding, and degreasing the pit boss. So you can see it is already starting to look a lot better. We got the rust off here, got it down to bare metal. We've got the inside nice and clean, about as clean as we can get it. Still got some drying to do. We got the, you can see right there, we got the deflector plate cleaned up, it's drying. We got the grates cleaned up and degreased, laying right there. Guys, I'm telling you, you've got to use, you've got to use something on the floor, on the ground, so you don't make a mess, because this is a messy job. But I'm telling you, I've probably let this one go a little bit farther than I should have, without a doubt. But if you use it as much as we do, and when you've cooked as much as we have lately on this thing, I'm telling you guys, it takes a little maintenance, but it's well worth it. This is a well-built machine, four years old, on the coast, in the salt water environment, and you, we've used it constantly. We've had some grease fires in here. But anyway, guys, that's where we are. That's what we've got going on. We're gonna let this dry and get clean, uh, let this get dried up, and we're gonna tape it off and get it painted. But anyway, while we're waiting on that to dry, we're gonna get all this vacuumed up and cleaned up around here so we can do a nice, neat job. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, see what the finished product looks like. Now you're cooking. No coffee needed style. All right, guys. So the paint that Pit Boss told me to get was the Cryline High Heat Max. They said in satin. I couldn't find a satin or gloss. Anyway, this is all anybody had in stock was the Cryline High Heat Max specialty paint. This goes up to 1100 degrees. Now, nobody had the copper or the bronze paint in stock. I'll post the links of what those colors are in the description down below so anyway check it out guys so we're not painting we're not going to paint the hopper i mean it's in good shape no sense in painting it so i did tape it up so we didn't get overspray on it i went ahead and taped up the entire lid you can see that so that we don't get overspray on it but guys you can just see how much better this is already looking compared to what it looked like earlier so anyway we got everything scraped everything's dried everything is ready to go prepped and ready to paint now what I haven't decided yet is if I'm going to paint the heat shield yet. I know they don't come painted to begin with. I do have the 1100 degree paint. I do want to do something to it. I'm going to decide whether I'm going to paint those or not in a few minutes. But anyway, guys, just stick around, watch this, let's get this painted, and we'll be done. And then we'll see what the finished product looks like. Hopefully she's going to look like a brand new one. So anyway, stick around, guys. Now you're cooking. No coffee needed style. All right, guys, we have got it done. This is what it looks like. But real quick, let's do an overview of everything that we used. We used a shop vac. This is the cleaner degreaser we got. We bought it from Lowe's for like $6.88 for that whole gallon. We put it in this spray bottle that we had laying around the house. That's the heat that we used. It matched perfect. We're gonna get an overview of it in just a minute of what this thing looks like. But we started off with a 220 grit sanding block. That was not, that was not coarse enough for to get all that rust and everything off of here. So we had some 80 grit for a cordless orbital, orbital sander. So we put the 80 grit on there and that's what we ended up sanding it with. We hit some final spots with that 220 sponge. We used tape to get everything taped up so we didn't get overspray. We did use a, a five in one. We used 
utility knife to kind of trim around the hinges when we put the tape on there and we used a grill brush but guys oh and don't forget the tarp you got to have the tarp on the ground to keep from making a mess anyway guys stick around we're going to give a real quick overview and let you see that this thing looks practically brand new after four long years and hard use right here in a harsh environment right on the coast in Myrtle Beach South Carolina don't want to go anywhere guys we're gonna check it out all right guys it is finished it took us a total of four and a half hours start to finish to get this thing done i want to just show you right quick it turned out great that paint that we used matched perfect there's a couple little things you can see i just want you to notice right where it had rusted that hammered section kind of like peeled off and that's where we sanded it down outside of that man it turned out great this is just amazing you can look how well everything just turned out we did not paint the shelf we probably needed to but this harsh environment has got that rusted a little bit the paint chipped right there we probably should have just went ahead and painted the whole thing including that black taking that piece off the back and redone it but we didn't anyway guys we didn't have any of this paint but i can tell you that the manufacturer's paint job would have been much better than mine we just left it alone because we couldn't find any of that copper paint but i'll put the link to all of the different paints that you would need to match this pit boss in the description down below but guys i want to tell you something just talking with the people at pit boss and their customer service has just been phenomenal this is four years old we use it all the time in the harsh environments guys you can't ask for a better pellet smoker pellet grill than this right here i mean it has really done well lasted us extremely a long time what we did today i let it go a little farther than i probably should have before we started doing any maintenance work but hey that's just the way it is that's the way it happens when you're cooking and you're having a ball you just let the maintenance kind of get away from you but i'm going to tell you something after what we did today the four and a half hours we spent on it today will just give us years and years more of service out of it we're looking forward to using this pit boss a lot longer but anyway pit boss if you want to send me a new shelf that would be great i would absolutely love to have one but anyway if you don't that's okay too guys we appreciate it and now you're cooking no coffee needed style all right guys inside we got a little bit more cleaning to do on that and we got it once this dried you can see we got a little bit more left we need to clean right there we did end up painting the deflector right there it's no big deal anyway it probably won't last very long but we went ahead and painted it just to give it some protection we'll see how long it lasts it is the 1100 degree paint guys but anyway we're gonna let all this paint cure for seven days before we crank this pit boss back up so we're going to let it sit here for seven days give that paint plenty of time to cure we did paint mainly just the barrel um we did not paint the legs we did not paint the bottom shelf we did not paint this shelf or this shelf and we you saw us tape up all of the hopper so anyway guys that's where we are we painted just the black parts of the barrel it turned out great i think it looks fa fabulous guys i appreciate you watching just remember Take care of your equipment. Your equipment will take care of you. Now you're cooking. No coffee needed style.